minds can be wiped and minds can be controlled. Control is the absence of freedom, but some of us were born free. calling? It's breakfast time. Um, yeah, I was just thinking. About what? We should go to breakfast. There you are, Rose. We were beginning to think you were sick. Never sick. Go to sleep through first alarm. You never sleep through first alarm. Come join us. After all, it's our last breakfast together as a family. Our last breakfast together as a family was when Jesse was still here. Rose, sit down and be civil. I thought we had agreed never to speak of Jessica again. She was deviant. Her poisoned mind was a danger to society. Yeah, her poisoned mind, not her. They should have worked harder to find a cure. Rose, sweetheart, Jessica had changed. No, she hadn't. Enough. Finished? Yeah. There, you see? I told you those therapy sessions would help her understand. Third alarm, you're dismissed. Good morning, class. It looks like everyone is here. So let's get started. This utopia was founded by the creator during the conclusion of the Immortal War. As the ancient empires collapsed one by one, the creator saw the need for a stable society, which would emerge from the chaos. In this grand nation, our beloved utopia, it was deemed that all people would be equal. And, to this day, the creator's dream went on. I could ask you the same thing. I know you don't go here. Who are you? What prompted you to investigate? I don't know. I'm curious. Yes. Yes, you are curious. And you know what? Curiosity is an amazing thing. Haven't you noticed that no one else is curious? But you are. That's why you're here. I'm the only one who saw you. Do you honestly think that if anyone else saw me, they'd react? No one else cares that I'm here. But if I stay here too long, the alarms will sound. The alarms aren't activated by the school. If you're in danger, then why are you here? How old are you? Answer my question! No, it's not important and there's no time. How old are you? I'm 18 tomorrow. Of course you are. Listen, uh... Rose. Rose, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need you to trust me. I need you to not take your graduation test tomorrow. Meet me around back at the Civic Center tomorrow at 8. Do anything you want, but do not go through those doors. Why should I listen to you? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were- What, Rose? What am I? A deviant? And what does that make you? 
Run away, Rose. Unless you want to be caught with your deviant. Hey, Rose. How's your last day of school going? Oh, it's so boring. I can't wait for it to be over. You should appreciate school. I mean, come on, without it, we wouldn't know anything. Besides, you're lucky your test is tomorrow. If you were like me, you'd still have another month. Doesn't mean I have to enjoy it. Did you guys hear those crazy sirens going off earlier? Yeah, I didn't think anyone else had heard them. When I went back in the room, no one had noticed. Ashley and I were in the classrooms, right? And I just got to use the restroom. And I came back, and I heard them. And then I told her about it, but she didn't believe me. At first, I was skeptical of him, but then I followed him out of the classroom, and sure enough, there were the alarms. It was crazy loud. We thought the buildings were like soundproof or something crazy like that. Whoa, whoa. Justin thinks they're soundproof. Well, Justin is always right. Rose? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You just, you look a little pale. Maybe you should go see the doctor. Uh, no, I'm okay. Maybe I will go see the nurse. That's a good idea. Yeah. She's struggling. Struggling to escape. Maybe, but they've increased their hold on her. We have to do something. Precautions have been put in place. We can't do anything until her sentence is up. We can't just sit here. It's too dangerous. What? Open up! Come with us, miss! Sorry, miss, but we need your cooperation. Talking to me yet. 
Oh, a fighter. Well, I'm glad we weren't sent in to rescue another poor, broken soul. Be careful with that mouth, Rose. We haven't unlocked the cell yet. Open the door, TJ. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, Rose, but you're gonna have to put this on before we go any further. Why? Because we're specialists, Rose. Your mind has not been trained to deal with anything you would see or hear. Okay. You need to talk to Matt. No, why? Who's Matt? What's he gonna change when I see? Come on! Just let me look! <laughs> Rose, can't you see you're only hurting yourself? <laughs> Fine, turn around. I thought I told you not to let her look back. Let's go to camp. <laughs>